This is Mission Control Houston. This is a view from onboard Shuttle Discovery as it orbits just to the east of China. In just a few seconds, it'll be crossing directly over Japan on its way out over the North Pacific Ocean and then on toward the western coast of the United States. The shuttle is currently 256 miles above and behind the International Space Station as the two orbit. The shuttle is currently 211 miles above the surface of the Earth. The crew on board is currently sleeping. They have four and a half hours more to go before they'll be woken up by spacecraft communicator Danny Olivas. That will begin flight day 14 for the crew. They will spend the day stowing things inside the crew cabin that were taken out during the mission. Basically getting everything on board ready to go for the landing on Saturday morning. They will also spend some time checking out the flight control system of the shuttle as well as firing the reaction control systems, testing them out, making sure they're, making sure they're ready to go for the landing. They'll also set up the recumbent seat for mission specialist Garrett Reisman. This is a specially designed seat that uh, reclines a little bit and eases the transition for returning expedition crew members. Uh, as they get used to Earth's gravity for the first time in uh, several months. Reisman's going to be returning home after 95 days in space, 90 of which were spent on board the International Space Station. The crew will also be stowing away the KU band antenna. This is the special antenna that is uh, used for high data rates to communicate with the ground. And they will also be conducting a series of Interviews with CBS News, WCBS Radio, and WINS Radio that will take place at 10.52 a.m. Central Time tomorrow. A few programming notes for here on NASA TV in addition to our continuing coverage of Discovery's flights. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time, there will be a press briefing with Entry Flight Director Richard Jones. This will be done in advance of Saturday's return home of Shuttle Discovery. And then at 2 p.m. Central Time here on NASA TV, we'll have a press briefing for the Mars Phoenix lander. But all in all, everything looking good for Discovery's targeted landing of 10.15 a.m. Central Time Saturday morning. The weather is looking very favorable. There's going to be a high pressure located over the west central Atlantic that will extend all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico. This will produce a relatively dry air mass over the Kennedy Space Center. There's going to be some light northeasterly winds, but uh, they'll be below the crosswind limits for the shuttle. The winds will increase and become easterly for the second opportunity of the day, but they'll still remain below the crosswind limits. Dry weather is expected for the very first opportunity of the morning, uh, as any sort of shower development will stay well offshore of the Kennedy Space Center. There's a slight chance of rain for the second opportunity, but uh, the first one looks very favorable, as well as the second one.
This is a view of Nagano, Japan, as the shuttle orbits 214 miles above the country. In just a few minutes, it'll be passing just to the east of Sapporo before it heads out over the North Pacific Ocean.